Hello, hello. Welcome to the Peter Parker Show. How's it going, guys? Welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about how we reached 2,000 miles on the bike, and the good, the bad, and what we've done to improve the bike. First of all, I'm just going to say this. Uh, like I said in my last review, the, the tires are the best thing of the bike. I think the tires are one of the strongest parts of the bike. It's definitely a forte of Super 73. They're thick, they're uh, weatherproof, uh, they're good against sand and all kinds of different terrains. I've noticed uh, when I was riding the other day with uh, my buddy Tom, um, he has a little bit different style uh, tires. He has slick tires and uh, he was slipping a little bit more than I was when I was um, going over the sand. So that's the thing about having these tires is they really help with all kinds of terrain. And they're also thick enough to not have any problems. Um, I've had some glass on my tires. Got on right on this part, not on the inside, but on the outside. And thanks to this little outside layer, it protects your inner tube from getting pierced by anything on, um, on the outside. So I thought that was really cool. And I also think that that's one of the strongest things that Super Sammy 3 has done. It's still worth it after 2,000 miles. So we're gonna move on to the brakes. I haven't had any issues with the brakes. I think the brakes are great. A lot of people change them to different types of brakes like Magura, Tektro ones, but they do the hydraulic Tektro, which is fine. In the past, I've talked about how the rotors were a little too thin for the bike. In reality, the rotors are just fine. Uh, the problem is that over time, because of the weight of the bike, uh, they are gonna warp a little bit, but that's totally normal and it happens a lot. Uh, in fact, sometimes when they warp, they kind of have this like squeaky noise and uh, I've had to actually change my, uh, my back rotor. As you can see, it's a different style. And the reason why is because it was starting to warp a little bit and was making this squeaky noise. And uh, as soon as we replaced that, it just stopped making that squeaky noise. So uh, it's meant, you know, it happens a lot with Super 73s where the, uh, the rotors warp a little bit or the brake pads start to fade out and they start to squeak. That's totally normal. That's part of it. And um, yeah, after 2000 miles, I, have to ch I had to change the brakes about three times. Um, not too bad three to four times. I th I'm pretty sure it was three times, but you know, it happens. Um, it also depends on how much you use your bike, you know, downhills, all that stuff. I had to change the light because I like my stock light a lot. In the thousand mile review we talked about, um, I was saying how I would never change the stock light. I was, <laughs> I changed my mind after seeing this light. Uh, Kim built lights are awesome. They are, they make me feel safe. They're super bright and there are two modes to them. They're actually different levels there's level one there's neutral and level two or people say is uh, low beam um, park lights and high beam the light takes so much power from the bike that i actually had to have a I have to have a uh, individual uh, battery pack uh, to power the light because it consumes a lot of the um, the power from the battery so uh, you just have to turn this guy on and uh, yeah and it just goes directly into the light so that's one way to kind of save battery in case you have a um, a cam built light i would always recommend getting a little battery pack you can get a bigger battery pack uh, if you like but that's one thing i wanted to change because um you know i just think that it makes me feel safer it's a lot cooler looking and uh, it's worth the money all right, moving on to the next one, the horn. These horns are amazing. I have a link for all these accessories in the link in the description down below. But this one, what I like about this horn is that not only it's loud, but it's also an alarm system. Uh, I'm gonna, for the first time, I'm gonna hit the hit the horn here. Just hit it. It's pretty loud, pretty loud. Uh, I like it a lot. It makes me feel safe on the road, and it also protects my bike from uh, getting stolen. So. Really like it. It comes also with a little remote. I'm gonna show you guys. Right here, this is to lock it, to unlock it. Uh, this is for the horn, and this is for panic mode. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, the next thing I did was change the grips. Um, nothing to do with the 2000 miles. It's just something that over time, I just realized I wasn't a huge fan of the look and the feel. So if you want, you can uh, change the grips you can do different colors honestly it's just kind of a 
it's also just cosmetic and for comfort nothing too important but i have noticed that the other grips were starting to fade a little bit with just like the gripping and even these are starting to kind of getting a little uh faded uh but anyway so that's one thing i had to change uh since uh, my thousand mile review so another thing is the battery obviously after almost a year of using my bike your question is have you noticed a decline in your battery power and have you noticed a decline in power overall performance i can tell you guys i have noticed no change at all it's really cool that after you know using it for over a year and putting 2000 miles on it there has been actually no change at all uh, in performance so i'm very glad and very thankful for that i haven't heard of anyone having any problems uh, in reality with any of the batteries super 73 batteries are very reliable and i'm really happy with it honestly haven't had any troubles i have been uh, keeping it away from the sunlight and from the heat that's something that will help overall performance it will help maintain your battery for the long run i charge my battery all the time when it's a little bit uh above uh 30 percent just because it's good to not drain the battery all the way uh to zero because according to a lot of forums they talk about how that can you know decrease your uh cell life and your batteries and it's not overall not good for the batteries also i've been using uh these uh chargers uh from chai battery systems it's a uh it's a supercharger and uh, basically charges your bike in uh from zero to 95 percent in two hours it's pretty amazing uh so i got them from them um really happy with this purchase don't use it for charging it all the time just once in a while because otherwise it can decline the battery cells of your battery and you know just kill the kill your battery quicker it will take a long time for that to happen but make sure that you don't charge it all the time with a supercharger another thing i kept is the uh, blackburn bag um i also love the blackburn bag it is a little bit uh it could be improved uh because it kind of the look of it is kind of um, clunky and bulky uh, there are other brands like uh, herb labs they have a little basket and make it look really really slick i'll show you guys the herb basket on my girlfriend's bike but anyway i, I really enjoy the uh, blackburn a lot um, it stores quite a bit has also small little pack pockets to pack you know stuff like battery um, other little pockets you could put your uh, GoPro batteries in. You could also put, you know, big things like bottles of water, uh, locks, etc. Yeah, I like it a lot. Um, just not a big fan of the bulkiness, but uh, otherwise, uh, I think it's it's a good buy. I still recommend it after uh, 2,000 miles. I have also changed the pegs. Uh, these were the pegs I used to have in the past. These were great. Uh, honestly, I like them a lot. They're just not very reliable for standing on top of them, especially if you weigh, you know, over 150 pounds, it could bend the inside of them. So it's not good to, you know, use them on your full weight, but they are comfortable and reliable just to put your feet on top of it and just rest your legs and your feet uh, from pedaling. But otherwise I change it to the other uh, pegs, the new pegs, which are these uh, Cognito Moto uh, ones. They're a hundred bucks. I'm not sponsored by them. Uh, I like their pegs. They're very slick. They actually support my full weight and I love them a lot. I think they're really worth the money. They are expensive though. They're a hundred bucks. Um, and they also do not fit, fit exactly in the hole because this hole is a little bit too big for the, for the pegs. So I had to put some bolts and washers to uh, prevent it from uh, falling out and from, you know, damaging the, uh, the screws on the, on the pegs but otherwise i recommend these guys uh, like i said i'm not sponsored by them i just like the uh i like the uh, pegs a lot i think they're cool all right another modification i've done uh for the bike is at a 10 speed kit uh, these guys uh, don't usually come included actually they don't come included with your bike unless you are purchasing them in europe uh, but american super 73 does not come with the gears I really like them. I've been waiting for a whole year to buy them because honestly, I just feel like um, after you know 2,000 miles of riding my bike, you really want that um, support on the pedals. You want to, 
use them to go up hills you want them to um, improvement in your performance of your battery so i mean if you have these guys it can save you up to 15 to 20 percent battery uh, just from using the gears alone it, it can help quite a bit and uh, it can ma make your riots last a lot longer honestly they are very ex expensive they're about 235 dollars when i bought them from super 73 on the website but you can also buy them off you know uh, shimano or you can buy them from uh, you know different websites or from bike shops and uh, i'm sure you can get them for a lot cheaper but this one is a great buy i really love it i do not regret it and after 2000 miles i think um it was needed it was much needed i've, I've always struggled with the single gear and um, especially going up hills it was just really really hard so i do prefer it uh with the gears even though i throttle all my way um most of the time i it's nice to have the uh you know the option another thing i've done is add these brake lights um these are amazing they're super bright i put them recently about four or five months ago and i think they're totally worth it it's only 10 ten dollars to get this light uh you can buy them online already prepped to install for you super 73 for like 40 60 bucks i believe i'm not sure but i have a buddy uh who helped me ali uh install these guys and um you basically just connect it to the cable that goes to your brake light which would be usually here and uh it's very bright i'll show you guys very bright and i'm under direct sunlight right now and they're super bright uh i just think it was worth doing it because it makes me feel safer knowing that there are people behind me that can see me uh and honestly it's it's a great improvement and modification that i highly recommend after 2000 miles of riding my bike it just doesn't feel safe enough to have that little um uh, backlight and uh honestly the more lights in the back the safer i feel on the road I also kept the same seat. I still enjoy this seat a lot. I have thought about changing it in the past, but I actually got used to it and I feel like it's really comfortable enough, especially for two people sitting there. So I highly recommend a custom seat on your bike. Uh, I got mine from OC Cafe Racer. After going 2,000 miles, I, I still recommend it and I haven't changed it a bit. After 2,000 miles, the first thing I've noticed is that when you reach uh, five miles, as your last mileage on your battery that usually means you have no more battery so if you have five miles left you usually have uh, not enough juice to uh, power the bike so always plan your rides with minus five miles on your range every single time it will help you from getting stranded uh, and also from pedaling your way back home otherwise uh, everything else I think um, is just been fine I love the bike I think it's amazing the only modifications I've done were just to improve slightly some of the things such as the light and the uh, pegs. And uh, e besides everything else, I, I still enjoy the, the, the bike so much and I think it's definitely worth the buy. Thank you so much guys for watching. Like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. It helps me be bigger, stronger, faster. And if you guys want a Super 73 of any model, any kind, there's a link down in the description for 100 bucks off. That's California tax and it helps out the channel a lot. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.